All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to UFO Enemy Unknown, where we just shot down an ethereal terror ship in Antarctica. So we are fighting in snow. We are facing sectopods. Uh, we are here with uh, with uh, a squad from Europe, and we are. We are preparing ourselves for the final mission, so let's hope this goes smoothly and we don't lose anyone. But now that I said that, we probably will. But le <laughs> let's go in and see what happens. Okay, great, we see them right away. Crap. Well, actually, that's not a bad thing, because that means I can mind control them. Mind control them and... Um, and use them as scouts. So I'm actually okay with this. Uh, adventure pilots put us in the corner, which is great. Let's see... Who do we see? Okay, I I prefer this start to the five turn tension we had with the mutants. I much 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 prefer this. I have not seen any sectopods yet. Oh, there's one. One we might actually be able to shoot because it has its ass on us. Now that we have these guys here uh, helping us. Yeah, that's the corner already. I, I like the, the snow here because we see we see so far. Let's drop your weapon. Uh we'll see about the grenade. Let's go here first then. Okay, I see one of them, that's good. He's looking this way. We might mind control that one as well. Okay, how do we how do we go about this? These guys they don't need their weapons. They don't need their uh, they don't need their grenades. There might be someone there in the back. Let me actually take uh, take you up to uh, keep an eye on on things. I already dropped your things, I will drop the grenade instead of using it. Uh, this guy gives us vision there. We'll just check our landing gear here. And uh, let's go closer because we might see more. And now that we have actually cleared the place, there's no one taking reaction shots, I will actually go out. I will actually go out in the first turn. Just have to remember to drop the weapons as well. Mm. Ah, interesting. Oh right, no no no, there's always the always the hole in there. Okay, I could take uh, could take the tank. Tank in here. The tank can shoot that one. I think I might mind control that one actually. Let's do it now so I don't forget. Because it will give us great vision inside the inside the thing and because Christian can just mind control anything at will. We can uh, we can do that. Oh look at that! There was sector port in the in the upper floor. Okay, that was uh, that was sneaky, sneaky attempt. Ah, uh, I think we had the perfect start here with the terror ship being so close to us. We just uh, we just get them all here on turn one. It's cool. Nice. I'm okay with this. There's one of them there as well. Yeah. 
I can't... I don't think I can get them all as in mind control, but uh, this was... Uh, this was pretty... Pretty significant turn. Okay. Let's see, do we still have the strong ones? Okay, we have one more attempt. I think one sector bot we have two. Oh, good job, Anterian. <laughs> and one more in there, jeez. Look at this. There was like four sector boards inside and this one outside. And we, uh, I think we might have actually gotten them all. One of the leaders here. Did we just mind control the whole... Uh, at least... Uh, at least find all the enemies in the turn one. I think we might have. Hey Jekyll, happy to get to get it live finally. Nice, nice to have you here, man. And uh, good thing that uh, schedules schedules match this time. Stop the grenade. That's too dangerous. But let's uh, let's see if there's someone here still. You drop that one. You don't have a weapon. I disarmed you. I disarmed you. Mm, so there's two sector boards. No, one sector board here we didn't get yet. Did I have points on this guy? No. But let's let's put you here, We're looking at this one, and let's use this one to actually shoot this one in the ass. <laughs> oh, 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 sector board. Wait a minute, there was no sound. Does that mean that that sector board is unconscious? <laughs> oh no, oh, oh, my mind controlled sector board lost the duel. <laughs> Do you have time units to go help? No. Uh, do you have points? No. We still have this guy here. This was uh this was pretty pretty epic first turn I have to say. Uh where's the closest laser? Where are my lasers? Actually, we still probably wants you on the ground more than uh, more than that. Snapshot twenty four. So that's actually that's that's one handed shot, but uh, take it anyway. shoot the eyes under it. How do these maps work? Okay, that's Beer Mulk's turn. So we will have a smoke here. Yeah this is yeah we are we are actually out on turn one because I got the mind controls. Ah, beautiful. Beautiful shots. I think I might have gotten all the ethereals, but since I'm not sure I will I will drop some. Drop some gear. Oh, 
I got so excited with this with this mission, I forgot my beer. Okay, here's a here's a beer most of you haven't seen. The Finns Finns might have, but uh, most of most of you haven't seen this. So here we have. Here we have. Come on, come on. There we go. So as you can see, this is a mango watermelon milkshake IPA from Bunikin Brewing Company. Bunik is a uh, part of a town here in the city of Tampere, I am in. Uh, so this is this is a local local brewery to my town, and this is much better than it sounds. <laughs> sponsored by Bunikin, not sponsored yet, but. Okay. So here we go. It uh, does produce quite a lot of foam, especially if you uh, if you pour it straight in like I did. As you can see, it's it's pretty light in color. So basically, this is. Uh, I don't know where the milkshake part comes in. I don't know where the milkshake parts come in, but this is basically like uh, if you if you guys like IPAs, some like fruity IPAs, this is like that because the mango is the main main thing. So I think the milkshake come, kind of comes from the. It has this kind of um, kind of like a milkshakey milkshakey feel. Sadly, this um, this can doesn't have much details, so I can't can't talk that much about the beer itself, apart from tasting it, apart from the fact that I liked. But anyway, good Friday night to all of you. Yeah, that's good. It actually has quite a quite a mild taste, but uh, definitely the mango is there. This is not. Uh, this is actually quite. Uh, even that this is IBA, this is only. Uh, uh, this is quite quite mild. Yeah, it's only four four percent. All right, but let's uh, let's get back into the game. Let's uh, let's drop the weapons and uh, let's let's see what that one one stray one stray sector board will do inside. Dropping most of the weapons just to be safe. Just to be safe, but uh, a lot of these guys can also hold on to their weapons quite freely. Ooh, forgot to drop your stuff. Who are you? Ah, this guy, okay. Uh, this guy could go, go closer to here just in case something pops up from there. Uh, everyone else from the ethereals, I did disarm, so that's good. Uh, let me see, did I... Let's still smoke the... Smoke the Sky Ranger here as well in the end. So we have... Um, actually, I can still move this guy, right? Let me take this guy here. If I could get a shot on. Ooh! Good spot there, Sectorboard. Okay, we are not done yet. Are we done yet? I don't have mind controls anymore, right? Okay, well, maybe this guy can actually kill this. Kill this ethereal. Or not. Okay, I will turn my ass here, so hopefully this ethereal shoots that guy instead of doing something else. 
but it definitely can't reach us. Okay, let's see. <laughs> exactly as planned. That's a lot of shooting. And the aliens targeted, I believe, beer bulk, as usual. And I think they targeted Taud, yeah. This time not Eldor, Taud and, Taud and beer bulk can. That was a lot of pew pew, yeah. A lot, lots. Okay. You don't need that. Let's pick up the weapons and... Um, actually... Yeah, let's just, just take the laser. So there's, there's one sectopod alive inside the one upstairs that just killed one of our... one of the ones I was mind controlling. And a whole lot of... Uh, whole lot of ethereals. And one ethereal with a weapon. Okay. So we have these guys here. Uh, we don't actually care about that much about these guys, but the more ethereals we have, the more more mind control thingamachingis we will have coming our way. So until I until I get them disarmed, I will keep on training my mind control guys. And these guys. Then uh, let's take the ones inside. Outside. Oh, that one didn't die. One guy. And then... Let's go upstairs, because there is the... Oh! Hello! <laughs> that guy that guy came closer than I expected. Uh, let's take this guy. Let's see if we can take that guy. Can. I would really like Nurse to get plus one time unit so we could have free mind controls. That would be uh, that would be ideal. Okay, I'm pretty sure I have all all the aliens now. Or not. A lot of leaders once again. Okay, two guys. Two guys who I didn't have last turn. So... Let's take these guys outside. Drop the weapons. Okay, let's see. So this guy, this sector board should be almost dead. Yeah, should be almost dead. So uh, it's kind of uh, easy to deal with. But let's uh, let's take it here. Uh, let's take it here so we can actually shoot it blind next turn without uh, without it seeing us. And uh, let's take this guy right next to it. Take this guy here as well. Kind of checking, checking this side for some uh, odd enemies on that side, so we can shoot them if we want. Then uh, they're getting a little bit crowded here at the door. <laughs> they are, they are on uh, on the queue to the, the disco floor. Quite so then I have all of them, but I'm, I'm not 100% sure. I think I will still drop the weapons just in case. Still drop the weapons just in case. The 
these guys here will be shooting those guys next turn. Together with Eldorts. And out. This guy here to have uh, have eyes on them next turn. What else do we need? We will drop the weapons. We have to do that. Let's get the guys who uh, can uh, can hold the weapons down there. Oh, by the way, Steel Blink, if you just joined, if you weren't here before, you, uh, we got your redeem in. One of the, one of the rookies, rookies from the, was it from US? Got a decent psionic strength, so, uh, you finally got drafted. Okay, but I think that's my turn. Then we just drop the weapons with uh, with uh, weaker ones. So Harry here is one of the new ones, 77. Uh, still playing 69. Can also hold on to hold on to the weapons. We might have a super quick turn here, which would be great, because that would mean we have all the aliens in control. And we do. Fantastic. We got this. Nice. Okay. Let's just take the tank forward to spot the guys in there. So we can shoot, uh, shoot these ones blind. Uh, then we will have some. Uh, well, actually, let's uh, let's pick up the weapons, and then we will have some target practice. Target slash bravery practice with uh, with the ethereals. Yeah, actually, Tommy, you pick up plasma as well. Why not? Uh, highly guess so far in the back that we uh, we have no point in shooting. Okay. Let's start with the lasers. So this guy's almost dead. Let's shoot uh, shoot a stronger one. One shot, Grebiotis. Leave some for the others. Let's actually try to get a kill for uh, Steel Blink as a rookie. Come on. Come on. You can do it. No. Yes. No. Yes. Nice. Okay. Good. Very good. Okay. Then uh, let's still do some mind controls here. Also to practice practice mind control with uh, with my guys who need the training. Does the game know whose grenade kills who? Uh, throwing a grenade gets you experience. So, yes. So, when you pile up casinos and everyone throws grenades, they... Oh, oh! 
Oh right, that's if you do actually that that like multiple grenade, but still I think they the grenades still have an order. The grenades still have an order, so uh kind of when uh even that they kind of explode at the same time. But they uh they still go off one by one at the end of the turn. So then uh, who gets the who gets the lethal gets the gets the kill. <laughs> we explode our grenades orderly at XCOM. They don't just explode at the same time. Lies. Hey, Yaelika, good to have our commander here. You're actually in a mission after a long while. Hey, of course, hanging in the back without your weapon, just so you so you don't shoot anyone in the back, but you're still in the mission. Uh, we will we will see uh, we will see some some bravery training here. Yes. Which might or might might or might not backfire a bit. We will uh, we will see. Because this is quite many, quite many ethereals that we uh, we are herding here. So this time, this time they are all in mind control, and then uh, next turn, next turn we see what we do. So basically, everyone, everyone who uh, who they will target with mind control thingamajigs will not be holding a weapon, and uh, everyone who can hold on to their weapon, so uh, won't be. Hopefully won't be mind attacked, Bill uh, will be holding on to tears, so we get some uh, bravery training and reaction training at the same time. Guys, move for the next turn. The dangerous, dangerous spots are actually to, you know. But I, I should actually move the move my guys who who will probably panic into the ship so that they don't don't walk into the line of fire. That's actually the that's actually the danger here. Okay, let's see if I forgot someone. No, I did get some all. Okay, so let's let's see. So Christian comes. Christian comes out. These uh most likely panicking ones will uh will run in and we'll see who they start to target. So we just leave the just leave the ones. Ones who can actually shoot outside. And let's see if my theory is correct. That they they will try to get they will try to get someone who's uh, who is actually holding a weapon. Because they have been doing that almost every single time. Blaster launchers also usually have the most skills. Well, I have been saving the bombs, so I've not been actually using them so much. Most of the time, that uh, that would be true, but uh, not not for my playthrough. 
Because I don't, I don't think the, the Blaster Launcher is kind of a... Well, let's say if you didn't use... Uh, if you didn't use uh, mind control at all, then things might be might be a little bit different. Okay, Ethereals, let's let's see what you do. So I have guys here who are holding on to weapons, and I have guys who are not holding on to weapons. We have, if I'm correct, we have eight ethereals. So this can go really badly wrong, as there's so many of them. And if they decide to, if they decide decide to try to panic attack one of these guys and they go berserk, we might have an absolute disaster in our hands. But. Uh, Let's see. I think that's beer milk. <laughs> nope, not there. Okay, they are attacking the guys inside, which which was the plan. Yeah, yeah, this is good. This is all good. They are not attacking the guys who are lined up here. It's perfect. And us missing is perfect as well. That's more reaction training. Beautiful. Really good turn. Oh no, no kills for the tanks. Ah, boo. Don't, <laughs> don't open the door, stupid aliens. <laughs> okay. Nice shot. Nice shot. Very good. Very nice. Missed the shots. Yep. Nice. <laughs> Flying suit guys panicking. <laughs> I'll go with him. <laughs> no! No, 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 no. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. No. This guy, this guy, they actually walked one of us to protect this one. But luckily with open XCOM, you can actually mind control them back. That was very sneaky action from the aliens. Getting, uh, getting Eldots there in the, in the line of fire. Very smart move. Nice. Very good mission. Very, very, very good mission. Look at that. Tau Deldorts, Braveries, Antarian plus five. Okay, not, not too much gains here. I think uh, Christian and Nurse are maxed out already. Yes, we got plus two time units for Nurse. Three mind controls from, uh, from Nurse after this. Beautiful. Reactions for Harry Steel. Uh, same old Rosamatic. That that probably means Rosamatic got a kill. Plus one for Christian as well. A lot of strengths. Time units. Yep. Very good. Very good mission. Very good mission. No Elerium, but we don't need it anymore. Cheers, guys. If you if you missed it before, that's uh, that's a local brewery to the city I live in. A brewery.
brewery I actually like quite a lot. And uh, I tasted this beer uh, in the midsummer, and I, I was sure I wouldn't like it because that sounded so weird. So, sounded so weird with uh, with a mango watermelon milkshake, but uh, like if you if you like fruity fruity IPAs, this is uh, like very very light one. Why is it in English? Do they export abroad? Uh, I'm not sure about that. I guess they do. I guess they do. Um, but uh, some of some of their like these uh, beer names are actually in uh, in Finnish. Does it use authentic Finnish watermelons? <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't have the pla the the blue white swan in it, so uh, probably not fully Finnish product. Okay, that was a good mission. Actually, very good. Very good one. So let's uh, let's sell the extras. Sell the extras and um, see where we are with our with our gear. Yeah, probably like twenty grenades is enough for the, that we will actually actually carry with us. We have thirty-two blaster bombs because I really haven't been using them. So I think what I will do with the final mission, I will just equip everyone who can with blaster bombs, and we will just blast away, and then we will pick up uh, pick up plasmas after that, or something something like that. And yeah, money money has not been an issue in a while. What am I waiting here? I'm waiting for more psionic psionic uh, screenings. Not yet imperial stout. I'm I'm not a fan of imperial stouts. I. I completely understand how why people would like them, but they are they are just just too much, too too strong, too stout. I do like normal stouts, but imperial stout, mm, not my beer. Not my beer. Okay, that means we can put the rest of the. You can put everyone in Asia into uh, actually. I will leave a couple of guys who are the absolute decoys so that they don't get defense. But then for everyone else, well, we got 52 on the recruit 001. Uh, that's not quite enough to probably make it to the make it to the final team, being an inexperienced rookie. But something like 70 plus and they they actually have a good chance of making it. Uh, Dingstern has uh, screened for 77, which is fantastic. That's really good. Very good. <laughs> My my pint is on the way of the keyboard, <laughs> so I, I missed missed <laughs> missed the letters by one. Do you plan on taking only psionics on the last mission? Not necessarily psionics, but as high of a psionic strength as possible. So that we could hold on to the weapons instead of worrying about mind controls. But I will also have these weak ones like like decoys who who will be the ones that they target them. But I, I want to have like 70 plus so that I don't have to drop the weapons and pick them up all the time. When you name recruits in three numbers, things have progressed compared to the stars. Yeah, I, I started uh, screening them before naming them. Because I was throwing throwing some of them out. That just made uh, made more sense to uh, do that. Okay, Ducktail and Thirsty Man, sadly, super low numbers. Uh, Dongo Lord 58, Buzzard Hawk 81, Lunar Eclip Eclipse 61. So I was right about Buzzard Hawk and Lunar Eclipse, and kind of, kind of about Dongo Lord as well. 
but Nether that goes into the decoy territory, sadly. Sadly for sure. Uh, RJ can train, Munagas can train. Okay, but the new new ones we have like from from Dongolord, right? Yeah. So here we have Dongolord 58 is right there, like almost, almost all right, but uh, we will uh, we will see. Buzzer Hulk 81 is definite final mission material. Just with that. Reasonably strong at this stage, so uh, so heavy. Nether kind of falls into the at least a little bit of a decoy. Decoy with that and Luna Eclipse 61. That's kind of into uncategorized one. Okay, good. Do we have numbers for T-Rod yet? No, T-Rod is still unknown. Let me actually take T-Rod there from the... Up from the top. Always forget him because he's there in the... the end of the line. Okay, but... Uh, I will have these guys not training. Oh, we actually have a craziest number as well. And Puskas. So they were they were low as I suspected because Puska and Crazier were the ones that were being uh, being attacked. Uh so I will give Pink Daisy there uh, a little bit of a training as well. So I'm, I'm not training these guys so that they don't gain skill, which would improve their training. Uh, same thing with Thirsty Man and Dark Zone, who I didn't name yet. Uh, Nether is kind of there on the borderline. 27. Not good for their final mission, but might actually resist some in the, in, uh, in the Earth missions. And then, um, yeah, these guys, these guys are the, are the big decoys here for sure. Okay, that's all right. Could I leave someone unchecked here? So we still don't know about Ezekiel and NCC Voyager. Everyone else we know. All right, we still have here uh, Mike Star meeting Cheese happily red up dark J H the second. We don't know about, and then all the numbered numbered ones. See how VPQ we actually gets promotion from being a maybe decoy into a proper decoy. Yeah, I think Redact went to a went to sleep. I think the absolute maximum is 100, as at, at least for the psionic strength, which doesn't develop. But you can with, uh, with training with training you can go past the 100. At least with psionic skill. Uh, I'm not sure about all the stats. I'm not but for... a fist pump. I'm dancing. I'm dancing, friends. But for a psionic strength, I think 100. Uh, the highest I have at the moment is 98. Because without do turning it. any do any it. open XCOM... Come on, kill me! I'm here! Come on! Do it now! Kill me! Without open XCOM options, the uh, psionic strength doesn't develop. Hey, JFKZ, thank you so much for the gifted subs. It's already 16 total from you, so thank you so much. Have you heard of the two sides mod? Uh, no, I haven't looked into any mods on this. The only one I turned on was the static smoke, just for the because it's easier for the video encoding. But I haven't really looked into any mods because this is my first playthrough. Okay, let's save the game. You guys have been crazy with the gifted subs today. Just, just insane. 
just insane. Okay, this is close to the US. This is one of the one man, one man boat. So let's send uh, the firestorm to uh, shoot this one down. Two player mode. Is it like a hot seat game or has they have they actually implemented some uh, some crazy web code for that? Yeah, that was the one one man boat, so no. Uh, Ooh. Ooh. A supply ship with sectoids. Do we want to fight this? I guess we do want to fight this. Haven't been fighting sectoids in a long time. Okay, what I what I should do, I will do it after this mission. I will um, I will select the team. I will select the team that will go. Well, I will mostly select the eighteen soldiers. I will take two tanks. Um, eighteen soldiers who will go to the final mission. Uh, so we'll start placing them in the adventure. Uh, emptying the other sides a little bit from them, and then uh, we can kind of kind of finalize the training and such for the, for these guys uh, today and then uh, tomorrow morning and tomorrow Saturday. In the in the next parts, we will go into the final mission. <laughs> Leave beer markets home. You just want to stay stay home and drink beer. You don't you don't want a glorious ending to your journey. You don't want to go guns blazing into their faces in Mars? <laughs> I do not have a name so I can't die. <laughs> that is true, save KZ, that is true. You can just, uh, just enjoy the slaughter of others. Do we know what time tomorrow the ship leaves for Mars? Uh, we don't know the exact timing, but the stream will start 9 a.m. GMT or UTC. And it will probably not be the very first mission I do. I want to warm up tomorrow. But uh, tomorrow, the Saturday stream anyway. because uh, So tomorrow, Saturday will be the finale. And then Sunday will begin uh, there from the deep. Blind. Superhuman. Fusion ball. Is this like the ultimate... Ultimate weapon as far as damage goes for the, for the ships? I guess it is. Fusion defense. If we, if we cared about defending our bases, we would probably build that. The what? Wait. Wait. Can we actually have blast to launcher tanks? Oh shit. Oh hell. Okay, so we are getting battleship, battleship, supply ship here once again with sectoids. Okay, so we are going after the battleship, and when then we uh, we are going after the supply ship, and then we have these. Okay, where are you flying from? Okay. Same time, so this is floaters who are that is that is easy to deal with. Uh, intercept with the South American Les Uh following the supply ship there. Uh, we can shoot it down, we can get this one when it gets closer. 
with um uh, with the firestorms. Where are you going? And there's the other one. Okay. This was this was not good. But let's start with this anyway. Wow, the supply ship can take some beating. We can we can build blast launcher tanks. Okay, that's something to think about. Let's uh, let's fight the supply ship first. Let's fight the supply ship first. Oh, I I I forgot to reorder these guys. Oh, damn it. Try to remember to order order them next turn. I mean next uh, after this mission. Uh, when did I have a break? I still have beer, so I will not have a break yet. I will do a very quick, very quick prediction for this, like really, 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 really quick. So get your get your fingers ready if you care about these things. But there we go, and we actually go for the mission right away. Uh, so these are sectoids. Sectoids, we are parked in the corner. We'll drop some of our weapons. Because if we, uh, we can't be can't be one hundred percent sure about. Uh, it was Tommy's fifty one? Yeah, this is this is exactly why I want uh, really high psionics into the final mission because I I can't be sure about fifties. They they might all of a sudden be targeted. And then uh, there will be much regrets. Even that uh, it's kind of these uh, these decoys. Decoys are the ones that they uh, they usually target. Like there will be that one time when they don't. Sectoid. Oh, that's close, eh? That's close. Right there in the smoke. Sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneak. Anyone checking the tire pressure? No. Uh, 
Okay, don't see anyone there. Let's take you down here. Let's move. Oh man, big hills. Big hills, but there's the door right there that this guy will help with for sure. Let's do it. Uh, pick up the weapons routine here. Nope, not you. <laughs> On the first turn, and then uh, we'll see where everyone, everyone finds their place. Uh, I could also just blast uh, blast the leader position with uh, with a double blast launch. Jesus! <laughs> Jesus, that scared me again. I have intentionally left the volume of that alert super high, <laughs> and it, it's I'm, I'm telling you, it's even louder for me. That gets me every single freaking time. I, I need to lower that volume, it's too scary. See, I've uh, I've on purpose left uh, left the volume of that super high. I I would have preferred to see more. I would have preferred to see more of the aliens, but. Uh, this is. Do it. This do is it. Fine. Come on, kill me. I'm here. Come on, do it now. Kill me. Nope. Next time we scout with that uh, with that sectoid and then. Uh, And we probably also see now who they will target. Actually, let's go. Let's go forward with uh, with you guys as well, because you will be able to hold on to your weapons. So you'll be in a better position next turn. That's scary. 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 So we got the weapons. This uh, we still didn't get mind control. So was the leader killed or or uh, is he just being lazy? So now I think I'm not even going to. I'm not going to pick up that. Sectoid, and then uh, there's the other one. Hello, Sectoid friends. Nice to see you. Okay. As usual, when you shoot down shoot down one of these um, supply ships, the mayhem is uh, pretty, pretty complete. Sadly, I still don't see them. Let me see if I could get... Uh, this, uh, a lot of hills here, but the aliens can very easily hide in. 
Let's try to move in a bit the tank here and try to uh, try to either spot them or uh, something like that. And then uh, same thing here. Let's take uh, nobody likes you high up in the air. Everybody hates you. You're gonna lose. This will be needed in the final mission. Smile, fuck. We need that motivation tomorrow. Okay. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, one, one thing I need to adjust is that I need to have one of the strong soldiers holding a blaster launcher. Uh, I need to do... I need to do those things. Take their leaving, uh, leaving Cremionis with uh, no action points to drop the weapon because that's usually a sure way to get that particular soldier berserked or mind controlled. These guys outside, but let's uh, see. Okay, so we have Tommy here. So since Tommy has uh, has a flying suits, no, but yeah, he needs to drop his weapon, so he can't really go. Can't really go uh, airborne. You have one, so you can uh, you can be there and wait. And then let's drop the weapons. One more time. Also, I would probably order these guys a little bit. Difference. We'll, we'll basically have like maybe two, maybe two or four of the weak ones in the final team, and then the rest will be like the seventy pluses or sixty-five plus that can hold on to uh, their weapons. Okay, so one sector is, is inside there, who we might not be able to mind control next next turn, but let's see. I'm pretty sure the leader of the sectoids died because we we haven't had a single single um, mind control attack. So we go, that's good. Scout for me, my minions. Scout for me. Oh, this uh, second floor is completely broken, so we actually see one additional Duderino out there in the second floor. This will help a lot, because we don't even have to take elevator up to, uh, to see these guys. So this was very, very much destroyed. Very much destroyed, this... Uh, nice, good catch. Good catch there as well. We might have the second floor cleared just with that one one very crucial spot. Especially when we get this guy who can check the who 
even check the places the other guy couldn't. And once we disarm them, we are we are much uh, in a much better much better spots. Okay, so we could even shoot one through the through these gaps into the third floor if we want to. One being a blaster, blaster bomb. Uh, how did you make them move faster? Hey, Emily, good to have you here. Sorry I, if I missed you there before. Uh, layer movement speed. I maxed this out after the after I got like into the psionics because I was so overpowered. I do like to keep the AI movement slow. Actually, I wouldn't wouldn't mind actually being even a little bit low, slower. And also, I like to keep the fire speed a little bit, uh, a little bit on the lower side. But uh, especially when I got the Avenger here, and you have to move uh, twenty units, the player movement speed is really good. Yeah, guys, if you uh, if you were not part of the couple of the raids we have been. Uh, Check out uh, Commander Emily there. Also, also plays this game, and I will probably then go into the long war if the GPU situation solves itself. But while while I'm moving my guys, you have a you have a good time too. Plenty of time to click that link and follow Emily as well. Uh, I think I will just not bother with these guys until. Uh, Because if if there is a sectoid leader, then I will just be like, yeah, yeah. So probably all, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm still paranoid, but I'm pretty sure there is no. There is no alien leader. Uh, read and crad. you come closer so we can use you as a target practice let's take you oh we see someone in the elevator nice good catch good catch let's let's completely see where they are. Anyone here? No. Hmm. I could shoot a blast launcher with weird angles, but I think that's a little bit risky. Uh, so you can just go forward if that's if that leader comes from there. And I probably want you like standing here so you block the let's actually check the weird angles. So you can watch that. Let's hide a little bit in the smoke. Uh, right, I have, I have you as well. So you can... Uh, you can act as our meat shield here. Uh, actually, you can come here. So there we go. So they will block all the attacks coming from that side. And we shouldn't have anyone this floor. Can I make sure of that somehow? Mm. Actually, that's not a bad path in case there was someone in that room. Okay, I think I have all the sectoids there. Then um, you can stay there. 
we're still up in the air, so go down there. It's probably the, the, the guy in here, or maybe two. We have to have to worry about. Okay, let's um, let's take this guy. Get him to the elevator, then we do mind control chain to the top. This guy out. And we might control those. And I should probably sweep the exterior with the uh, with tank still. Say there, then we got you up here. That should be plenty. If we can target practice, shoot those guys. Let's take the tank to the back here, just in case there's some stray sectoid here. Doesn't seem there is. Where's my other tank? Alright, Grey Milk. Yes, man, you have a good night. Yes, if you, um, if you do need to go today, uh, tomorrow will be the finale of this run. Where we go, go to Sidonia. I could probably equip these guys with weapons already, but uh, I will let uh, let these guys do the target practice and reaction practice. And we practiced uh, mind controls once again, and now we should have a should have a chain chain that takes us to the final room, and then we have them all. But I also suspect that the leader might be dead and that might be an engineer. Why didn't we get panic attacked? What was what is your what was your plan, leader? I'm confused. I'm confused why we didn't get mind controlled. Attempts. Let me actually mind control this last guy as well, because then we know if we have them all. There might be someone here. Still one guy there. One guy there we have it disarmed. Alrighty then. Let's go. Let's go check on them. Or maybe I maybe I forgot someone in here or something. Ah, hello. Right where I wanted you to be, so we can easily do this. That. Let's 
check if you had friends here. Ah, you did. You did. Sneaky path. Now we should have them all. And the next turn we can uh, walk them. Alright, I still have these two here. So I will walk them out. Now I could probably pick up the weapons with those guys as well if I want to. So let's do some reaction practice for the guys again. So I'm quite certain we are safe, but uh, I think I will at least drop the drop the blast launchers. I think. What's the armor on the hover tank? Actually, I haven't paid that much attention. I think it's it's. Uh Okay, it is it is higher than the best one we can have. And it's also super high all around. So even the tank spot is not uh, not that weak. Let's 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 here and let's see most of them can keep the weapons now we should be should be fine but I will take them away from the ones that uh, are holding two dangerous weapons or uh, are the most likely likely ones to be uh, controlled if we hit them there we go this should be a fast turn yep we have them all now goody good goody good good goody good so let's uh, walk the ones from the top down. Walk them from the top. To the slaughter. Also practice for these mind control guys because that will be in handy. track of them. Yeah, that's the leader. That's the leader. So these guys should be should be shot on now. Let's take Paisy there.
Too accurate. Miss a couple of shots, please. Yes, good. No, too accurate. Yes. The more misses means more reaction practice. Okay, now it's uh, actually the leader. You know what? We we do need to shoot the leader. I think that was the leader. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll drop Beer Malk's weapon just in case. <laughs> yeah, we should be fine. No! <laughs> okay, I didn't kill the leader. <laughs> Jeez, where did you go even? Oh crap, I did I did drop Doubt's weapon because I kind of... Wait, where did, where did, like actually, where did you go? Whoa, 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 where's, where's Doubt? Where did you? Oh man, that's that is that is sneaky. That is okay. Let's 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 drop these weapons. Uh, let's drop let's drop everything. I uh, think I killed the leader now, though. I will I will make sure. I thought I killed the leader, but I think I shot the wrong guy. Uh, okay, where the where the heck did you uh walk? <laughs> where the heck did you walk? Uh, uh, yeah, we got the leader with uh, with the reaction shots. Oh, you tried to walk in. Okay, with uh, with open XCOM, you can uh, mind control your own guys back to your side. So we can take that to Zaud. And uh, let's take Zaud. Zaud here. Oh, it might actually be this guy the leader. Uh, if the leader would have chosen the right guy, there was a potential disaster there. There was a... There was a chance for there to uh, things go... Things go horribly wrong. Okay, who... Who is this? Harry. Reactions 50, firing accuracy 66, and I think, uh... 47, 49, and they have been, like, nailing almost all the reaction shots and hitting them. That should be game. Good, good. Good training. Reaction Steel Blink Harry, Basic R Semolf, Accuracies for Semolf and Harry, uh, Maximum Training for Antarian, Beautiful, some for Redencred as well, more time units for Antarian, Fantastic, lot of time units for Steel Blink, Beautiful. I uh, would have loved to see some accuracy there as well, but uh, that's uh, it's all right, it's all right. Okay, but we are not out yet. There are two battleships in the air. Two battleships in the air coming our way. Coming our way. Actually, while those are in there, let me just check the score. Okay, we <laughs> we have been we have been beating the alien ass in the September. Let's just say. <laughs> um Okay. Follow this one from Asia. My storm out. US firestorm as well. Let's fly, fly to Japan to wait. This is this is scary part always fighting the fighting the battleships. I will see if they land before I get more firestorms to wait. 
All right, D-Man, you have a good night's sleep. What are you doing, battleships? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, right, this is the... This is the... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um... Damn it. Okay, fine, destroy the small one. If you can, please. So we have uh, we have a small UFO in uh, South America that we are trying to chase with the interceptor and it is outrunning us. I think the battleship is slowing down. Okay, thanks. Uh, f f wait, what? Is this fusion? This fusion, fusion pole launcher is the weapon for the for the. This is for the for the aircrafts. And then we can do, then we can do a blaster tank, and some shells for that. I I just have to build one of these tanks, right? Just have to. Hey, Yoldin, thanks for the follow. Then we have to build some of these, uh, some of these bombs for it. Always the best spot to do this while. Best spot to do this is while you are having a intercept intercept going on because you can listen to the best music in the game. Hey, Yolding, thank you so much for the sub with Prime as well. Cheers, man. Fusion ball launcher is the best weapon for ships, but not really worth it. Yeah, the plasma is working very well. Okay, I kind of want these battleships to land. But I will shoot them if they don't. But now we have three, we have three interceptors on this battleship. So I should shoot this one down and wait for the other one to land. So let's wait until it's here. Then we go for a... Uh, Okay, we got it down. Some of the some of the interceptors were okay. Let me see which one took which one took damage. Uh, this is okay. Let's go for the other battleship. Uh, this one took damage. Let's let's let that return. This one goes there. It's Avenger re refuel already. Uh, that shouldn't take too long. One hour and then refuel. We might do the other battleship. Oh man, it is, it is sectoids. Sectoids, so that means cyber disks as well. Can you shoot that thing down now? Okay, it's still crashed. Uh, 
I'm not sure if I want to do well. It is floaters. Okay, I guess the, I guess that's one one for the US team then. Wait. Wait, guys. So much happening. But at least we can listen to the awesome music. Ready. All right, Europe is Europe is so stuffed that we can't send any stuff there. Uh, okay, do we want to shoot this one down or wait? I would prefer wait. I really hope this went... Oh, crap. That's not good. Okay, fine. Go home. The Asian... Asian one will probably be in repairs for... Uh, yeah, for a really long time. Okay, how fast will get the Avenger up? Uh, that will take ages. Okay. US team. US team, go take that one. Uh, what's the Asian team looking like? I've been I've been spoiled by the by the European Avenger team. Like a sectoid sectoid battleship with anything but anything but the best guys. They can do it. They can do it. Just no... Just no flying suits on the decoys. So I don't want to chase them down. Uh, okay, I think that's it. Decoy, decoy. NCC is probably strong. Because he hasn't been... Oh, right, Sixeron should be in. Okay, let me actually check while we can still listen to this awesome beats. Let's check... Um... Uh, Sixeron could join instead of... Instead of Razor 1. Yeah, we don't need more decoys there, so... Uh... Change that. And six run gets flying suits. Okay, I think everything here should be fine. So let's get some alien grenades for this squad. Asian team. Oh, it landed. Oh, it actually landed. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, 
Will it stay landed until the Avenger is ready? Probably not. Damn it, I have to go to the landed one first. Because it's down. Yeah, you have to go back, I know. Okay. I'm I'm not too confident about this. Not too confident about this with the Asian team, but we have to actually which which will trigger first. Okay, those are those guys are still on the way, so this will be the mission we do. And then we have one battleship down. How has the year four hunting been going? Uh, pretty good. We did lose uh, Flaming Dog and Severin Mackay in the first mission today. Because the mutants mutants evolved into 300 IQ. I still don't know how that how that mutant got into the room where I was without doing what what they usually do. But yeah, apart from that, it's been going good. All right, but um, I'm. This is a battleship. It is sectors, which means a lot of, lot of, and it's also landed, so it's not even destroyed. So that means cyber disks, sectoids with mind control, a lot of them. Bless the launchers, and I'm here with, uh, I'm here with, uh, kind of a secondary team. I'm, I'm actually quite worried about this, but, uh, that's also kind of, again, l quite refreshing of actually having, uh, having a tough mission. Although the psionics, psionics here, they have received some training already, so it's not that bad. Uh, you are reading my mind, it is clip time. We will go for a break, but I will actually, because this will take a little while, I will first... I will first make sure these guys are okay for the mission. These guys are okay for the mission. Uh, I'm actually okay with... Birchy carrying that's one probably. Could you could you carry double weapons? Like if you put some of the bombs down and maybe you take a laser. No, it's way too heavy. Uh you can do that. Okay. I actually like that setup quite a bit. But I don't mind you having that either, but uh you can have that. You shouldn't be attacked, but you never know. So, there's a little bit of a danger factor there, for sure. Uh, right, Sixrun hasn't been in the missions for a while. Would you be my blessed launcher guy or someone else? Maybe I will give you a... Give you a normal one. And someone else will take that. Will I trust you with 53? 53 is kind of that they probably won't get mind controlled, but they might they might get uh, Berserk. So in the Berserk they wouldn't throw the grenades. So I guess I give you some grenades. Although who who would I use these grenades on? Probably no one. Why did I even pick them up? Yeah, I think you are alright. Things turn 77. Okay, we will probably start training you. So let me see. So you are 77. Let's see who else we got here. NCC is here as a new, as, a, as an old guy who still hasn't been cleaned. We have Silver Wolf in with Psionics. Ezekiel is here. We have Zixi here. Uh, I will actually drop these uh, explosives. We just never used them. I've been having them there to train a little bit of, um, little bit of, um, I'm putting these here for the, um, 
Ethereal Sectorboard fights. Uh, VP is there, that's good. Then we have a Psionic, Psionic. Yeah, we, we are kind of missing Psyamps here, at least one. Because things turn could easily have one. Okay, well that's uh It's a little bit of a shame and since we don't actually have like extra extra weapons here, let me let me do this for you if you could. So you have a normal weapon but you can still blast with that if uh if it comes down to that. But yeah, tonight I think we are done and uh, I'll take a break. Break and uh, we might not finish this mission today because this will probably be a long one. So I will then start with this. And uh, these hours go so fast that I'm actually getting worried that will I will I actually get to the get to the finale tomorrow as I promised. But anyway. Let's worry about that tomorrow, and let's worry about this mission after the break. So I will see you guys in uh, in just a moment. And uh, for for you guys watching live, I'll turn on the prediction. So this is a landed battleship with sectoids and cyberisks. <laughs> 